I want to thank B&H for bringing me out here. I'm just so excited to be with Canon now. I've been an explorer of light for over 12 years, which is really an honor to be, you know, and they're bringing in some great new talent. Uh, they just added Joel Grimes, Lindsay Adler, Sue Bryce. Uh, there's Peter Hurley. These are some really top-notch photographers, and I'm like the old guy, so now I'm reinventing myself all the time. So I've got so much to share with you and so many good things. I'm going to show you a show that I put together and showed last week. Well, you know, uh, the motion to stills is what we're talking about today, and the motion has helped me a lot to promote myself with Canon because I'm out there shooting video, making clips like this, sending them over to the guys at Canon, and they're like, wow, we like this kind of stuff. This is looking good. So I realized that you know you can make inroads with a lot of people with motion. You know, what is batting a thousand? What does that mean? All right, if you're in the major leagues and you hit the ball three times out of 10, you're in the Hall of Fame. That's, that's Hall of Fame numbers, you know, 300. I'm talking about 1,000. Every time I get behind, you know, the camera, I'm going to knock it out of the park. Wouldn't you like to learn how to do that today? If you sit right here till the end of the program, I guarantee you will bat 1,000, okay, without fail. And that's, that's really how I've gotten to where I am. It's just always delivering, always coming through with the goods like that. Consistent results are at the heart of this program. Being able to do the same thing over and over. You know, if you're a pro like me, for 23 years I've had my own studio. I can't, I can't go out and, and drop the ball. You know, I've got to deliver. I've got to make it happen. So what I'm doing is I'm committing myself to mastery. <clears throat> what does that mean? I was so lucky to carry the bags for a master. This is a portrait I made of Monty Zucker, and this is the way we used to travel. We carried everything we needed. I mean, even today in this program, we stayed nearby, but we came up here with, you know, five bags of equipment with just two of us. And I'm like, Do you, most people today are just going out doing the seminars with a laptop, you know, in and out of the hotel, in and out of the program. I want a light. I want to show you how to do it. I want to get those lights out, plug them in, show you the lighting patterns I'm looking for. So I've always been that way since Monty trained me to say, don't take the easy way out. And matter of fact, as we get to the end of the program, I think it's the people that are trying to find the easy way out that are making their, their lives difficult. You know, if you just take everything you need, it's easy. If you say, I'm just going to go and find the light, good luck. You know, the wind's going to come, it's going to rain, the clouds get it. Whatever's going on, everything's going to change on you. You need to have a backup plan. So this is the first ad for the first digital camera from Canon, the D30. I was right there holding the reflector. It was made, you know, about 20 blocks from here uh, on Chambers Street. We were like way up high, right by the World Trade Centers. This is a while ago. And this is one of the portraits that Monty created, all window light. And I'm going to talk about his lighting and how he pulled these things together. But Canon has just been a leader in this industry uh, with the new equipment. And I'm going to talk about the 1DX Mark II. I did a wedding with it not long ago. And the 80D. These are new cameras. And as an explorer of light for Canon, I get this camera, which is really, this is a, a million megapixel camera. And uh, <laughs> I have to laugh with you guys. This is a plastic camera that was mounted on top of a car. And they drove it through uh, Montreal, and they had just taken it off the car. And I said, let me take a picture with that thing. So we're just having fun. So I've really been making my living in weddings for now 30 years. And that's kind of been the really the go-to. Weddings every weekend or bar mitzvah, social functions. But what we've added to the weddings is this the camera that's shooting the movie. But adding motion to stills <clears throat> is what this program is about. How you can get into this market, no matter uh, if you don't even want to make the movie, if you don't even want to make the cinematic creation, there are people in New York that do. So what you do is you team up with these people. You know, if I put an ad on Craigslist right now <clears throat> and said, hey, I need someone to help me shoot and edit a video tomorrow, I would get 20 people. 20 people that would want to do that for me. And then I would simply email back, send me your reel, send me something to look at, and then get them on the phone, ask them a couple questions. Next thing you know, I've got a film crew. And I'm going to go out and take the pictures. I'm going to make everyone look good, but I'm going to have a video right next to me. And I can communicate with the person, knowing enough about it to make sure that we're gathering the great shots. And I can stop the action and reset it up for the filmmakers. This is a wedding picture that I made in 1991. That's Bruce Jenner. Now he's Caitlyn Jenner. Can you believe that? Monty booked this wedding. 
and I made this photograph, and it was in People magazine. We shot the entire wedding, and that's how far I go back. And I'm showing you a few of these slides to show you my portfolio. That you know, we're not just faking it. These are some, you know, some really beautiful colossal wedding images. This is the infrared camera. I'm shooting from my knees up to the to the sky, and the veil just took off in the in the wind. Strong flash off camera, 14 millimeter lens with a full infrared. Uh, camera and I, I just took some old cameras, had them converted to IR to infrared. So this couple had a big wedding recently, and I brought them over for casuals. And we started out in the garage, <clears throat> and they said, "Why are we in the garage?" Well, I laid her on his back. I laid him beside her. Look how awkward she looks there. It doesn't matter because I'm just showing her faces. Her email to me was like, "We love them all. Here, here's a few of the numbers we like." You know, so loving so many, I was able to make a book for them. But here's my book technique. I print the photographs and I put them on foam core and lay them around different areas of the, of the rehearsal dinner as well as these big canvas prints. And these prints can be signed and turned into books or invitation pictures. Look at this. This is their invitation. But here's their book right here. You see all the gray out op low opacity pictures where people can sign their names. Now why do I make them into these individual pieces that I can spread out for a couple reasons. Number one, when we get home to the studio, all we do is scan out those signatures. We already have the book in the computer, and we just lay the books on top of each other in Photoshop and erase the signatures into the new album that we're creating. Number two, if there's a few pages where maybe they didn't sign it very well, they left too many holes, or how about a page with just one signature? Well, we can condense the book down and take that page and combine it with another one. Does that make sense? I've also had books get damaged at parties. People dropped them and they broke. Grease, you know, from the chicken wings got on them, whatever. So now we're just kind of making a rough draft. And the best reason is advertisement. I'm able to put those pictures around the room, people signing them, and we're able to pull it together. This is a technique where the sun is setting and we're harnessing the light. We're gonna talk about the lighting pattern I look for every time, but I just had to turn their faces to the setting sun to put the light exactly where I wanted it, and that's called harnessing the light. We're gonna review all this here at the end. We're gonna have a test. That's the same thing going on here. No flash, no reflector, no nothing. They're just looking out at the Baltimore skyline, and the sun is setting to our left, and I just turn her face and his face to put the sun exactly where I want it. Stephanie, turn your nose to the right a little bit, a little bit more, perfect. Now in the studio, I do the same thing. These soft boxes that are around the room, I light real quick, pose real quick, get behind the camera real quick, and I can move the face to get the lighting exactly where I want it. And then I can move the camera to get the specific angles I'm looking for. But while we're doing these portraits, we're making video. We're shooting cinema at the same time. I'm making this portrait and we're showing them, and people love this movement. I mean, it is for today. The movement is mixing in beautifully. Let's take a look at some of these behind the scenes clips from the video.
I am a portrait photographer. If you go to my website, I do two or three business portraits every week. So now, who am I photographing? I'm photographing the CEO of that company. I'm photographing all the important people. So I've got their ear, and I say, hey, guess what? I'm making films now. Can I show you one? And I'm really excited about it. So I picked up a lot of film work just from photographing these people. This is a guy on the right, Metalogics. I just did his son's rehearsal dinner last Friday, and I've done a film for their company, a big film, $12,000 film, I'm serious, for the guy on the right, simply because I was doing his business portrait, and this is an honest God's truth, this is how it happened. They were, we were in Metalogics, which is Microsoft, in DC. I have the gray paper set up, I'm doing all his portraits, and I said, hey Steve, I'm doing these films now. They are so much fun. I mean, this place is so cinematic. You ought to let me come make a film for you. So then not three minutes later, we're in the next room. And he says, Clay, come here. I want to introduce you to somebody. Hey, Jim, Jim, come over here. This is Clay. He does all of our films. He's our filmmaker. He's our photographer filmmaker. He introduced me as the filmmaker just because I planted the seed. So that we have to just always be selling ourselves. This is my slider. I've had this for seven years. I mean, it's a beater. I put cans on the end just, just so it would, you know, sit like that. But it's a Pegasus from, uh, what is it? A Pegasus from Cinevate. But I'm telling you, man, this thing, we say sound and slider. You know, one guy might say, you're sound and slider. I need every word. I need it clear. And think about slider shots. So that's all he's doing is doing sound so he could be saying, hey, this could be a cool slider shot over here. So that's a good guy, sound and slider. And the other two are working on the story of the day. Becoming a salesman with a camera is so important is not to give the work away. And so we kind of have to figure out how do you charge for these things. So somebody said, look, three times is for your friends and five times is for your customers. So let's say it, you know, it costs you $1,000 to make a corporate film. You should sell it for $3,000. And let's say it's a, a customer that's got a good infrastructure and good pockets and you should go for 5,000. 5,000 is kind of an entry level film. You know what I'm talking about? And, and I think that's very doable in today's economy. And I think that's about where I want to start. Okay. These are all the goodies that Canon's coming out. It's amazing how Canon took the cinema and took the bull by the horns and just ran with it. Now this is the, probably the best slide in the whole show. A divided mind, chase two rabbits and lose them both. I've been to so many events and tried to do video and pictures, and both were mediocre, mediocre, whatever, mediocre, because you can't do them both. You have to say, I'm going to choose my poison today. I'm going to take the pictures, you do the video. You shoot the pictures, I'm going to do the video, because your mind works in different ways, doesn't it? Um, there's a company called Animoto. How many of you ever heard of Animoto? That's a great way to kind of get started in this, because you can take photographs and take little video clips and mix it together. And it's just a little template-based program. And I did that for MasterCard recently, and they loved it. They only hired me to do stills at a golf tournament. I was so bored. I was out there all day. I kept flipping the camera to video, and I'd film a little, and then I'd shoot a little, film a little. We crunched it all up into a little video for MasterCard, and they loved it. We didn't even edit it. You know, you just send it to Animoto. Animoto puts it together for you. It's all done very well. Become a salesman with a camera. Realize, you know, we're only going to go through this life one time. We only have one chance to sell this job. Don't just give it away. Make sure that they, um, that they, you know, reciprocate for all the work you put into it. Practice, practice, practice. Fundamentals. What is that? One, two, three, over and over. One, two, three of portraiture. And I just want to keep practicing. I fear not the man who's practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who's practiced one kick 10,000 times. Isn't that so true? just so you know it so well you don't think about it. So I told some of you that if you stayed to the end, I would tell you what it means to bat a thousand. Remember that? So here's what it means, okay? My first wedding I did, uh, the mother, I'm gonna leave this up for a second. The mother of the bride, she was in the background. I heard what she said. I'm 16 years old. I remember because I just got my car and I went and did a wedding. And the friend of mine at school said, how much would you do my sister's wedding for? I said, $100. And the sucker fell for it. He said, OK, we'll do it. And you know, $100, it cost me probably you know, 95 just to process all the pictures. So I didn't, never knew how to use a flash attachment on a camera. I had a Canon AE-1, which is great. And they had the needle, and you'd line those, the needle and the, and the circle together, take the picture, and it always came out. I developed my own film. When the flash went on, I'm like, do I shoot it on 2.8 or 
or do I go to 16? I had no idea, seriously, and I'm at a wedding getting paid, I just went right in the middle on F8. And I just ran around taking pictures with this biggest smile on my face. So much energy, so much fun. And the mother of the bride said, did you see that guy? I mean, he was having so much fun. These are going to be the best pictures we've ever had. And I'm like, oh, from your mouth to God's ear, well, lady, I hope so. But sure enough, they came out. And they all love the pictures. But more than anything, they love that experience of this stress-free, fun moment. And they, they had that to, to, to look back at. It's great to have all these things, you know, technique, lighting, good cameras. But the most th important thing you have, you have already. And that's just love. You know, love your customer. Love this industry. Love yourself. If you have that, you can sit at king, uh, tables with kings and queens and you can go into the poorest neighborhoods in the world. As long as you love your profession and people see that and you're just excited about taking the next picture, the people will reciprocate and they'll be like, this is great. We love working with you. The pictures are great. They, they're not really going to get in there and just um, scrutinize everything. They're just going to say, you're great, man. We, you, and and once, you, once you get it all wound up like that, you can really, you can turn it up if you need to. You know, sometimes I'm with a bride and groom and, you know, if I feel like there's any feeling like they're, they're just not into it as much as I'd like them to be, I might take a few pictures. Oh, wow, look at this, Paul, look at this. This is great. And they're like, whoa, he likes it, you know? And I'm faking it a little bit, guys. I'm just turning the volume up. But the pictures are there. I just have to get them into it, you know? The camera looks both ways. Let's just end with that statement. Rick Salmon, my good Explorer Light buddy. What does that mean? The camera looks both ways. If I'm happy, you're happy. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, B&H has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help.